Our bodies are teeming with trillions of microbes. They live on our skin, up our noses, and deep inside our bowels. These microbial communities are collectively known as the microbiome, and their makeup plays an important role in our health. In our guts, these tiny tagalongs help digest our food and fend off foreign invaders. But too much of certain bacteria, or not enough of others, has been linked to gastrointestinal problems, respiratory disease, and even neurological conditions. How might microbes in the gut affect our behavior? Some researchers suspect that compounds produced by certain bacteria leak out of the gut, into the blood, and travel to the brain, where they cause inflammation that leads to behavioral changes. The theory is still unproven, but some clues suggest that the gut microbiome can contribute to autism. Autistic children are up to four times as likely as their non-autistic peers to have digestive problems such as stomach pain, diarrhea, or constipation. And several studies have found atypical gut flora in children on the spectrum. But these studies have included only small numbers of children and don't tell us whether microbiome differences contribute to autism behaviors or vice versa. Some common autism traits, such as picky eating, for example, could alter the microbiome. Anecdotally, some families report improvements in their autistic child's behavior after a course of antibiotics, which could change the microbiome, and many say they use special diets and probiotics to ease autism traits. But studies aimed at deliberately altering traits by way of microbial transplants, for instance, have been too small to reach any firm conclusions. Animal studies are providing some insight. One analysis found that a species of gut bacteria in yogurt enhances social interactions in three mouse models of autism. Another showed that microbes extracted from the stool of autistic boys induced autism-like behaviors in mice. Researchers have criticized the statistical methods used in that study, and many other questions abound. Importantly, researchers are still trying to identify the key ingredients of a healthy microbiome, never mind pinpoint what makes an unhealthy one. As this work continues, researchers caution against using risky, unproven therapies, such as stool transplants and tapeworms, to game the gut. It's clear that the microbial communities in our guts affect our health in many ways, but more research is needed to determine whether the makeup of these communities contributes to autism.